So in this video, we will learn how to send Slack notifications on Salesforce opportunity updates. Now suppose guys, you are a business owner or you are running some kind of organization and you are using Salesforce as a CRM application. And you want that whenever you update the status or any kind of details in an opportunity which you have created in Salesforce, you want to update your team members as well for the opportunity updates. So let me tell you, this automation video is for you. So in this video, we are going to set up an automation in which whenever a new opportunity will be updated in our Salesforce account, automatically the details of that updated opportunity will be sent as a channel message on our Slack channel. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavlikinix dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavlikinix in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavlikinix account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Salesforce to Slack. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to connect our Salesforce account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, whenever a new opportunity will be updated in our Salesforce account, the details of that newly updated opportunities will be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, in the second step, we will be sending those newly up updated opportunity details to Slack channel as a channel message so that we can also update our team members that an opportunity has been updated on our Salesforce account. So let's begin guys. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Salesforce. Select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as opportunity updated. After selecting a trigger event, just click on this connect button and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our Salesforce account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Salesforce button. And because we have already logged into a Salesforce account in our browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and asking us for the authorization. Just click on this allow button and then our Salesforce account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, we here you can see a button named as save and send test request. Now when we click on this save and send test request button, the details of the most recent, the last opportunity which was updated in our Salesforce account will be received as response here in trigger window. So before clicking on it, let's update an opportunity in our Salesforce account. For that, we'll just go here and you can see that there are two opportunities I have created in my Salesforce account right now. First one is named as new integration and second one is demo opportunity. So let's work on this new integration. Let's update it. So this is the opportunity. Just click on this edit button. And then for example, here you can see that this is the name, account name, account type. Here on the right side, you can see amount. So let's change the amount of this opportunity from $9,999 to $19,999. Then here, this is the close date. So let's not change it. And here in stage guys from the drop down right now the stage of this opportunity is needs analysis but we will be actually changing the stage as proposal slash price code so we have just changed the stage of this opportunity and the probability i want to enter the probability as 85 percent after this we are not making any changes we are not updating any kind of other details just click on this save button so just now we have updated an opportunity in our salesforce account after doing it, we will get back to Pavli Connect and click on this save and send test request button. And when we click on save and send test request, here you will see that we have received some response. And in this response, you will see all the details of the opportunity, the recent opportunity, which was updated in Salesforce. So here guys, you can see that we have an attribute type that is an opportunity is updated. We have the type of the opportunity that is new customer. So here you can see that this is the same type of the opportunity, which we have just now updated. Then we will scroll down and here you can see the name of the stage. So we have changed the stage name to proposal slash price code 
and here you can see the response of same stage name. We have the probability 85%. Then we will scroll down. Here you can see the name of the opportunity which was updated. Then you will scroll down and here we have a response of last modified date that at what date and time this opportunity was last updated. So here you can see that this date and time is in pretty complex format and according to UTC time zone. But using a feature of public connect that is called date time formatter, you can change the format and time zone of this date and time as well according to your requirement. After this we will scroll down further and we will see some other details regarding this same opportunity. Here you can see the expected revenue, here you can see the description of the opportunity which was updated and here at last you can see the total amount of opportunity which was created as well that is $19,999. So this is the same amount guys which we have updated over here just now. Now this means the step 1 of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Salesforce account with Pabli Connect and received the details of an updated opportunity from Salesforce in our Pabli Connect workflow. Now after this let's move to step 2. And in step 2 we have to send these same details to Slack channel as a channel message so that we can also update our team members for the same with the same details. Now to do this just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Slack. Select Slack. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send channel message. Click on connect. And select add new connection. Now here guys in the action window, we have to connect our Slack account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Slack button. And then here it is asking us to can type. So to connect our Slack account with Public Connect, here we have two options of different tokens. First one is a user token and second one is the bot token. Basically, you can, you, you can use any token of user or bot according to your requirement. And by clicking here, you can see the difference between a user token and a bot token. Right now, I'm, in this video, I'm just selecting bot token over here and click on save. Now, when we click on save, here you can see that because we have logged into a Slack account in our browser as well, Public Connect has also detected the same account. Just scroll down, click on this allow button and then our Slack account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the channel that on which Slack channel of our account we want to send the message. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the channels which we have created on our Slack account. Here on my Slack account here you can see this is a list of all the channels which we have. And the same list can be seen over here in public connect as well. So the channel Slack channel on which I want to send the opportunity updates from Salesforce is named as Salesforce updates. So here in public connect, we will be searching for the same channel Salesforce updates just selected. After selecting the channel, the next thing it asks us is the message that what is the actual message which we want to send on our Slack channel. So I want my message to be hello team. Okay, so this is the kind of message which I want to send on my Slack channel whenever an opportunity is updated in Salesforce. The message says, hello team, new opportunity is updated in Salesforce. And then here we are going to mention the details of the opportunity which was updated like name, description, stage, type, amount and expected amount. So here guys what we are going to do one by one all the details of opportunity which was updated the response which we have received from Salesforce from these responses we are going to map their respective details over here in this message. So instead of this message guys you can basically create any message of your choice according to your requirement. Like here in front of name I want to mention the name of the opportunity which was updated. So just click here. And from the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Salesforce. And out of all of these responses, select the response of name and it will be mapped over here. Similarly, map the other details as well. Like here, we are going to map the description. So just click here and from the drop down, map the response of description of the opportunity whose response we have received from Salesforce. After this, let's map the stage over here. Just click here and from the drop down, map the stage name. Select that opportunity type as well. Just click here and here in front of type, we are going to mention the type. The amount of the opportunity, we are going to map that detail as well. This is the total amount and this is the expected amount. Let's map the expected amount as well. 
this is it so here guys just a second here guys this is the kind of complete message which we want to send after creating a message of your requirement and mapping all the required data what we are going to do we have this image url and image all text option so using this action step of slack inside probably connect if you want you can send some image as well with the channel message with the message which we are sending on slack channel so here you just have to mention the url the link of the image and here you have to enter the name of the image as well right now we are not sending any image so we are just ignoring these fields for now then after that here you can see we have the field named as bot name and bot icon so guys the bot who is going to send the message on the slack channel basically what we can do we can actually change the name of the bot as well so here for example i'll enter the bot name as pavli so by the bot name pavli all of these messages will be sent on our slack channel after this we have this section of bot icon so not just name you can actually change the icon of the bot the image of the bot as well who is going to send the message right now i don't want to change the image so we are just ignoring this field for now but if you want to change the image just enter the image url which you want to add as the bot icon in this field then it is asking us auto expand link link username and channel name and reply to boss broadcast so all of these fields are not mandatory so we are just ignoring it you can make the changes according to your requirement and after this just click on the save and send test request button after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the message which we have created over here is sent on our slack channel this same channel which we have selected so let's check it we will go to our slack channel and yes guys here you can see that this is the same message hello team new opportunity is updated in salesforce name new integration description we have to integrate new applications inside pavli connect stage proposal slash price quote type new customer amount is 19999 and expected amount is 16999.15 so these are the details of the same opportunity which we have just now updated on our salesforce account and whose response we have captured inside pavli connect so now we can see that the automation workflow which we have created inside pavli connect is working perfectly fine now every time we are going to update an opportunity inside our salesforce account automatically the details or the data of that updated opportunity will be sent as a channel message on our slack channel so guys not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this exact same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own pavli connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day